Hello guys, this is Tavi and I'm doing a Rome to the War online battle commentary video. I am in command of the SPQR and my opponent is the Barbarian Tribes of Germania. So, I have quite an elite force of legionaries with four Praetorian cavalry, two Archer Auxilia. I also have six urban cohorts and among them is my general and a f an, an early legionary first cohort just inspiring my troops in case I have two task forces or something like that and I had a hundred denarii left or so so I just bought some peasants and my cohorts are also upgraded quite heavily So my opponent, Horus, he's in the command of the Germans and he's got six Gothic cavalry squadrons, four chosen art no five chosen archer warbands, an axemen unit, three of them, and three night raiders. Along with that he's got two Berser Berserker unit units and screeching women to inspire his men and scare my men so I didn't want to attack uphill this was a tiny hill but I knew he'd hide his troops here I wanted to fight on my terms not on Horus's terms so I moved my troops over on this hill uh, you can see my Praetorian cavalry are giving away where I want to move so he chase, chases with half of his gothic cavalry force and charges into my early legion cohorts well one of them and he gets that that cohort gets severely depleted already losing half of their men so that's that's not too good and he he's in there with his general actually so I fire some flaming arrows at his men. Actually one gets hit just to scare them a wee bit. Panicked by fire attack. But I keep moving. And I also have moved back my Praetorian cavalry by that time. So now in that little skirmish equal losses I would say. Though well, you can see a lot of my early legionary first cohort troops among the dead here. So I keep moving and he doesn't challenge me any longer. So my plan was just to get around him basically. Just wanted to be on the higher ground than him. I I think no now when I'm looking at this I don't think it was so crucial just to have a wee a little bit of a higher ground than him. I mean even if I attacked this little elevation wouldn't have been too bad. I could have um, flanked him round here or could have even flanked him from both sides. Hmm. So from what it looks like he has superior archers, archery, arch ranged units and superior cavalry. However my infantry force is not matched by his knight raiders and axemen could be easily dealt with by my urbans. So his night raiders have a lot of upgrades. Apart from his screeching woman, which was probably the unequivalent of my peasants. But here they are, screaming, pushing their breasts out and, and chests. Um, There's, there's nobody to scare really, I don't know why he's doing that. So he's following my men and there he is rushing my cavalry with his. I did the wrong move and ran with my cavalry instead of keeping them along with my main force of infantry. So I changed them to wedge mode, wedge formation 
and charge or walk into the fight. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, there we, there we go. There I charge. So I'm rushing with my men, shooting with my archers, but his gothic cavalry has the upper edge. And that's already one Praetorian cavalry squadron gone for me. So it's looking quite bleak. I'm s f flaming my own troops with my flaming arrows. Oh, not not in this shot, not in this shot. So one one unit was routed, so that was very effective. That flaming arrow shot. A lot of them are again. A lot of them are again set on fire and burning to death. Shooting cavalry from the u the rear. That's the best opportunity you can have when using archers. So I still have two squadrons left. Three. So out of the four, I have three left. My peasants are very tired already. They're not that fit. They're just farmers. Little daggers. Exactly. My main. The, the main force that I'm planning to. Uh, execute my. Execute my what? My what? I don't know what I'll execute. Ah, oh, my crucial. Oh, okay, I'm 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 lost for words here. They're not they're not exactly the troops I'm planning to fight with. I don't know why I even brought them. So here I'm, I'm exchanging fire with the archers, the chosen archer warbands. I'm firing my flaming arrows. Um, I don't know why I still kept them on. I switched them off after a while. Will this be the switched off shot? I don't know. I set them into loose formation. There's the standard bear. With his bear skin on. His bear cape. So my archers are already tired from their run. Uh, to get the higher ground, or even the even ground. But right now his men are like, I mean, what are they doing? Just in some random columns. Uh, so he's exchanging fire, keeping his berserkers at the ready of their nasty looking pickaxe like weapons. And they also have bear capes. Exactly the same. Exactly the same as my standard bidders. There's the woman screeching, encouraging his men on. They're a, they're a little bit panicked by the fire attack, but I'm, I'm not moving in with my men, so it doesn't really give me anything to be happy with. Uh, early Legion of First Cohort. They're, they're down a lot. They're even, they're even smaller than the rest of my urbans. They're my smallest legion unit, actually. Because of the damage they took from that charge. That early charge by the gothic cavalry of Horus. So here my tactic. It's not exactly a, an enlightened one or any doesn't have any genius in it, but I don't really care about my archers, so I'm just exchanging fire with his buying me time for my men to recover from the long run all the way around the battlefield. So one unit's down to four, the other one's down to fourteen. And losing men constantly. Oh, oh no, oh. Well that's... My heroic auxiliary, auxiliary troops dead. All is left apart from these six guys are my imperial roman citizens who are to fight it out so they're 
these arrows are pretty useless. Uh, I mean, it's like 200 archers firing at these. Three, two, one. One archer auxiliary left. And he's not running yet, fighting until the end. Shooting his one arrow in the hope that he'll actually hit someone and he's dead. At least a good thing is that they have died for a good cause. Now my legionaries can fight it out. My elite urbans and this early legionary first cohort. So I break into a run and send my cavalry to, to the left to deal with his archers. So I'm rushing up to minimize the casualties from missiles. So as you can see I have a slight advantage, uh, like a tiny wee, tiny advantage when it comes to higher ground. So there he charges with his uh, axemen, gothic cavalry and absolutely destroys my urbans, no my praetorians. Praetorian cavalry. So I still have one unit left. Two units actually. So there he is. Fin finishes off my legionary first cohort. Even charges in with a screeching woman. He basically goes for an all in charge. So he still has some night raiders and berserkers who are hiding in the forest. Charging up. So here's the berserkers doing their job, fling, attacking my men from behind. However, victory seems certain for my urbans, the excellently trained and disciplined troops have the upper hand in this little fight. And I also ch rushed in with my Praetorians. So I'm, I'm actually, I've actually managed to write the large proportion of the enemy's men. Their Horus charges my urbans with a frontal charge to help his night raiders and berserkers. They're flaying my urbans. Ouch. Ouch. Wow. Wow, they are truly going berserk. I, they, they can fling these urbans in full armor and the shield. Wow. They're huge. So the balance of forces is equal here, and there's a huge struggle with my early first, early legionary first cohort down to five men. Three now. So there's there there's two of them. There's another one somewhere else. Well, they're fighting it out, and I think my general might be among this troop. Well, it's in either one. It's my cavalry actually is still intact and my peasants not doing anything. I, I actually forgot about them. So player has admitted defeat. Victory for Tavi. Hooray! So, good game to Horus. He admitted defeat. Thing with his cavalry, I managed to survive with my cavalry was the reason for that was because he just charged in and just stayed there fighting my heavy infantry. I did hammer and anvil charges just at the crucial points and the excellent training of my Arbans prevailed when it came to the heavy fighting. So good game. I had over 1100 kills. He had just over half of that and you can see he started with 200 more men than me, so not good, not bad. I don't know what the map is, but there you are, clear victory. I'll see you guys next time.